Chris. And we're looking forward to some extended bike rides this spring. We've developed a solar trailer for our e-bikes so we can charge the batteries. This is the second prototype of the solar e-bike trailer. It's built on a Burley Coho XC trailer chassis. It's a single tire trailer. The trailer has a nice quick disconnect handle that you pull and you can just disconnect it from the trip from the bicycle. Very convenient. The trailer's quick disconnect goes on to these little hubs that go through your axle. And you can just pick it up and it slips over and locks into place. Kickstand is adjustable for different height bicycles. It's a single tire trailer and it has a suspension, which is nice. This Burley trailer is extremely well made. It has bottle bosses all over the place here, and I was able to use those to uh, connect my brackets. I've designed it so it tries to aim at the sun when possible. People ask why you'd want to have a tilting solar panel versus a flat one. This late in the season, it's the difference between 80 watts and 37 watts. For this prototype, it uses a wireless remote control for the actuator. This has a key fob here that you can push the buttons to make it go up and down. The structure is using EMT electric conduit and it uses the maker pipe kit fittings to connect it together. You should check out Maker Pipe. It's a Kickstarter that uses EMT conduit and connectors to build all kinds of things inexpensively. I 3D printed brackets that hold the one inch L bracket and the three quarter inch aluminum box metal that holds the solar panel. I 3D printed a, a bracket that connects to the aluminum frame of the trailer as a quick disconnect pin from the electrical conduit. And this is the maker pipe connectors connecting to an aluminum rod. I'm using PVC pipe as a bearing on the aluminum rod and I 3D printed these brackets that connect the, the three-quarter box aluminum to the PVC. I'm using the Genesun MPPT solar charger for the uh, 36 volt battery. The front support is also made out of electrical conduit and it also has disconnect pins so you can just take these pins out and pull the solar uh, tripod off. I'm using the new Rich Solar 100 watt flexible panel. It uses the sun power cells so it's a lot smaller than the previous one that I had. I had to put washers underneath here so that the uh, panel wouldn't hit the heads. I also put big fender washers on to keep it from pulling through. The actuator is attached to the trailer and there's pins that you can disconnect it. And then it's also connected to the panel here. And so the throw of the actuator makes the panel tilt. I 3D printed some connectors that hold on these LED lights. I had to switch out the uh, pole that goes down the middle that supports the panel to make it out of aluminum instead of the electrical conduit because it was conductive and causing my compass issues. I 3D printed a little bracket to hold the LED lights and also keeps the um, central bearing rod pinned in. Put the 3D part designs and all the parts I used over on the Prusa 3D printer website. For the next step of the project, I'm building the electronics that has a microprocessor, a gyro, a GPS, a compass, a current sensor, and it's going to uh, control the whole thing through a Bluetooth app on my iPhone. If you found this helpful or interesting, please hit like and subscribe. 
Thanks. Have a great day.